Yeah, and then you you wrap that up into a kid that got obsessed with dirt bikes, and yeah. you know, there's obviously like a level of talent there. But it's funny, I I had Julian Wilson on the podcast, he's a surfer, yeah. and he was like, he was saying, oh, I think talent's just bullshit. I think that all talent is is just obsession. And then you get so obsessed and then you practice and practice and you just yeah, will yeah. yourself into being good. And I'm like, Interesting maybe. way of looking at it. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I wonder about that because like I've, I'm so not talented in motocross and then so talented in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, okay. So I'm like, what? Like how? You know, how, how does it, is it the, and I love, I find it fascinating to think about why and especially because I'm talking to people like you for my job, you know, like people would say you're talented, but then it's like, is it talent? What is it? What yeah, what, what is, is going talent? on? What is that thing that's going on? And, you know, like the literally the first time I ever did jiu-jitsu, I just was like, oh, this is sick. Like, <laughs> I love this. And then I watch people that come into their gym and they do their first, their first class and they're just like, what the fuck have I like, you know, and it's the, everyone's got like this into, I guess what I'm trying to say is like that the baselines are different. Yeah. Everyone right. has this weird, different baseline. And I think what we call talent is when somebody's got like a fairly high baseline and then they just start building on it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's all, it's funny. Hey, so people's brains, they, everyone works differently. So I remember as a kid, I was always interested in, <clears throat> like doing stuff with my hands like hand-eye coordination sporting that kind of stuff but was say never very um smart in school or was yeah. that interested but then some people are more i don't know some more analytical or more you know just people have the areas where they they do better at and then i guess that's where they can develop talents in certain areas because they're more inclined to be interested or in the things that come naturally yeah yeah so i always loved um yeah, pushing limits and, and hand-eye coordination, like doing flips and stuff like that. I just love that kind of stuff. So I guess it, it, it helped me later on when I was, you know, riding bikes. I, I certainly didn't have any talent as a kid. I learnt on an ag bike, and but it was just through sheer passion and, and just want to do it. And, and see, that lens, myself. Yeah. that lens into what Julian said, right? Is it's just that obsession. Like you get yeah. obsessed with something and then you just do it over and over and over. Yeah, because that's um, kind of uh, made a lot more sense when some younger kids were saying, oh, "You know, what do I need to do? I, I just want I want to be a famous motocross rider." I thought I didn't. <laughs> I yeah. just wanted to be the best I could do. I think that's the problem is some people want to be this end product. Yes. but then like you sh- just do what you love to do. You know, yeah. if you if you love it and if you're passionate about it, you, you know, you can learn a way to monetize whatever your passion is you know help people you know provide some kind of service doesn't matter it's just you know you have to at least start in an area that you like and then yeah wherever your passion lies then you can work on that i honestly think one of the most like uh one of the i guess most interesting achievement of your career from the outside in um is that you really don't give a fuck about like being famous, being cool, quote unquote. Like you, you're not that guy, and it's so hard. Like there, there were more people that would want to do freestyle motocross or professional motocross and supercross or professional sport. The percentage of people that would want to do that to be famous, yeah, would be so much more than the people like you. Yeah, who don't really give a fuck to be famous. Yeah, and uh, there's a couple that makes me think of, like, uh, so a friend told me about the five love languages. Yeah, That's an yeah. interesting one. And then, yeah. But also, like, um, childhood, upbringing, environment, like, all that stuff has a play on how you end up as well because, like, I was never, uh, I guess, a very loving family, so very fortunate there. But then I never really sought to, I didn't, was never trying to find love anywhere else i just i like doing things and so then um what i thought you know when i was younger i thought everyone was you know say like me and wanted to do stuff but then a lot of people you know some people like words of affirmation more and i yeah. was like, it was only just a few years ago that i sort of this all became it's clear interesting to that love yeah. language stuff isn't it yeah so i just i feel like everyone works differently and is after 
feel like they're chasing different things to feel complete and so yeah for me thankfully it was just <laughs> i didn't didn't want i didn't need people to say oh good work i like, i didn't care about what they thought you know obviously i didn't want to hurt anyone i didn't want anyone to you know say think i was an absolute dick or anything like that but i still it wasn't their opinion that was driving me or that was affecting me i just um yeah it's a bit of a <laughs> no no i know i know exactly what you're saying that's it i've never really thought of it um i've read that love languages book um and it is pretty interesting and to think about yeah that being the reason why you know that you didn't really care like you don't need words of affirmation you don't need people to tell you that you're good and yeah that i've never thought that that could actually correlate with the fact that you don't you know you weren't ever doing freestyle to be famous or because all that shit comes you know mm, like yeah. you and people obviously know who you are like when you're on tv and or you do a triple backflip like people will find out that you did that you know yeah. what i mean it, it's but then yeah there is like definitely people that they want to be famous and that's like people that start bands or be actors or you know like there's all of these kind of things that you know people that's what they want out of it and then they'll kind of trudge through the process of making movies and yeah know, i do be- wonder though if there are a lot of so a lot of people might be <clears throat> wanting to be famous but then there are a lot of people even like singers and you know well, band members pardon me actors that purely like to act and like yeah. to do all that stuff so i'd It'd be interesting to Well, that, I, I feel like they would be the people that reach the very pinnacle. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like so. you can only fake it a certain amount or yeah, like that yeah. level because what you said before about like the, um, I guess the way you looked at it, it's like you were just in love with the process of doing it, not like mm-hmm. the end result. And I think that if you're, you know, like this podcast, for example, like, dude, the the time that I spend actually like posting a video and then looking at it being like, wow, that's doing great. You know, that's like a very small percentage yes. of the time. Like by the, t- I don't really get to enjoy, you know, I'll look at the numbers and be like, that's fucking crazy, but that's it yeah, because yeah. there's more work to be done. Exactly. Like if you stop and smell the roses essentially. And like, if that was the motivation, you're only going to get to stop and smell that garden for a, couple days before those flowers fucking die so like if you don't keep it's the work that you've got to love like you've got to love the the thing that yields the results not the result if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang